Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at an educational augmented reality app called Air Classroom by AGS12. The app is free um, on the App Store. Now, the app is very simple. Uh, the goal is to try to find either a letter, number or a shape among other, all the other cubes that are spread around the area. Now, it depends on which one you tap. If you tap the wrong one, it's going to make a, you know, a funny voice and uh, like, oh no, and if it's the right one, it's going to say, yay, just watch, just watch. Oh no! I really like it. I really like, you know, those funny voices. I like humor in apps in general. But something is missing here. As you can see, there's no sound effects for the uh, for the cubes when they are dropped or whether they intersect with each other. And this is something that I want to see uh, added in a future update. Now, several things are done right here. First of all, the game is very colorful and very cheerful. You know, it's fun. It's fun just seeing uh, really uh, many uh, cubes in front of you all around, all around the place. Um, second of all, uh, the game was designed, uh, you know, so the cubes are on the floor, so the device is face facing down. This means less hand fatigue, and this is very important. Because if you put a device, uh, you know, uh, in uh, your uh, lower part of the body facing down, you won't need to uh, apply uh, as much uh, physical force in order to um, uh, hold the device, uh, compared to if you do it, if you hold it in front of you or in an upward position. Now, there's not one thing that I wanted to show you compared to other games that I try, other educational games. So just, uh, not just educational games, other AR games. And let's just bring them up, okay? So just a second. Okay, so let's take a look at a few apps. This is Math Ninja AR, and this is an app that I tried quite a long time ago. Um, it teaches um, kids uh, math. And as you can see, there's a kind of this area on the floor and the... Um, uh, and the kid needs to walk around it and discover the answer, which is, you know, one of those characters with a number on their head. All right, so this is something really nice that I really uh, enjoyed. But again, it's just very static, just uh, have this uh, uh, level in place and you just uh, move around it, even just a little bit, just to see where those characters are hiding. All right, let's move on to the second app. The second one is Catchy Words. Uh, as you can see, there are letters spread in the air, which is really, really cool. And you need to place them in those containers and construct the word. If you do it right, you get the score. And we, this is right, you see, I'm just moving around with my body. I'm just grabbing the letter and just make sure that it passes through the container and it's supposed to be in the right place. You see, where is the, the last one? I just grab it in the air. It's very, you know, it's physical, but not something hard for anyone to do. See? Very easy. This is really cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Problem. This is not correct. Look at the bottom. You can see uh, the, the three letters are not in the right position. So I just need to change it. And just move it around. Place it instead of the other one. Grab the other one. And try to guess where to put it. Yay! All right. So, okay. This is a uh, catchy word. Let's move on to another app. Uh, this is a block tower. Here you can see I need to find um, uh, the right shapes and position them in their placeholders in order to construct uh, uh, a different, you know, a, a different types of uh, structures. So uh, see, I just move it around and it just snaps uh, into place. You see, it's a very colorful game. You can see the things are just. Uh, it's an air kit game, so the object, the 3D objects, are just placed on the floor. And this is really resembles kind of uh, you know a standard uh, uh, construction game uh, for kids. Again, colorful, nice, and uses beautiful uses the environment. There are no restriction, no borders. Uh, you just move uh, objects around and place them in the right place. All right, the next one. No worries, we're soon gonna get to the original game. I just want to make a point. So this is TBR. This is actually a game that, um, that where uh, our game reminds me of it. Uh, as you can see, there are many uh, beautiful, colorful eggs spread around the environment. The idea is that you need to just swipe and, and, and match uh, uh, colors uh, and you get like uh, combos and stuff. And this is a uh, little um, rabbit that just throw things at you and you need to evade them. It's really colorful, beautiful, 
uh, use the, the space in the environment, uh, same as the, uh, the previous game that I showed you. Overall, fun game, so let's go back to our original game. Right, <laughs> I know it was a long trip, but uh, I told you I want to make a point. So we are back to AR Classroom. As you can see, this game is quite similar. I mean, kind of uh, borrow some of the things that I liked about the previous games. It's very colorful, you know, as an as a app that was designed for kids. Uh, you know, uh, very cheerful, playful, and um, uh, as you can see, it uses the environment, just places object on the floor. Uh, another great thing is that when you move, it just continue uh, putting more and more and more objects. And it's really cool, because then it just stack on top of the other. In that aspect, it kind of reminds me of AR Block Tower, the game that I showed you, uh, the app that I showed you uh, previously. So again, it actually takes some of the things that I like about uh, uh, playing uh, games in augmented reality and just combine them into a really fun and simple uh, augmented reality experience um, for kids. Here you can just see, I'm uh, just moving around and it continuously generates blocks. Of course, there's a, a total, I mean, it has a limit, a quota. I mean, because if not, uh, the performance is going to be terrible. Uh, but it's really fun. It's really, I, I'm sure that kids will enjoy just watch, uh, walking around the environment and just, uh, you know, uh, uh, see these uh, animations and all those blocks uh, just dropping on the floor. It's also important to keep in mind that this has a purpose, right? Because you have so many uh, letters out there that the kid needs to just search for it, search for the letter in all this mess. They're also not static, they're kind of tumbling and bubbling, it's really cool. Uh, but I would have liked uh, to have some intersection, so if I pass uh, through my device through the cubes, maybe they're just gonna, you know, spread apart, you know, something like that. I can just go with my device and just push them. This can be really, really cool. Um, that's something that uh, is not available in the app, but hopefully uh, the developer will add it uh, in a future update. Oh, no. and there's even another advantage for this, you know, the, the kids, you know, when they play, they do uh, some sort of a physical activity. This is also good. Instead of just sitting down on the couch, holding their phone and just, you know, spending, uh, I don't know, how many time, maybe hours. Uh, so this actually encourages physical activity, which is also a benefit. So these are the shapes, uh, but unfortunately it didn't place many, many uh, objects on the floor compared to how it was with the uh, letters. I don't know why. Um, anyway, it was still nice. I, I still think that we can do something better with the uh, shapes, make it you know, appear more a bit rounded and, and with better texture, uh, you know, kind of a uh, toyish. Uh, because this just looked like a primitive shape uh, from, you know, when you created in Maya. <laughs> so, I mean, something that looks a bit better, like this one, you know, just with uh, different shapes. So I continued playing and playing it, and, and, and I, I really felt that the, the experience is, is entertaining. As simple as it was, it was very entertaining. And I really like when uh, um, developers are actually using the space in a really uh, uh, interesting and immersive way. For example, you can just you can develop this app differently. Like um, maybe uh, uh, put a few uh, shapes on the floor, one, two, three, and four, and let the user choose it, and that's it. But this would be a bit boring, right? We need to put something interesting. You know, something that uh, will look, you know, something doesn't have to be realistic, right? But this one actually res resembles the ball pit, you know, ball pit, where you get where children get into a, an area where there are tons of colorful balls. So in in, in, and that's why I told you earlier, if you add uh, physical inter, uh, intersection uh, with the cubes, it can be really fun because it can remind kids that same pit, uh, uh, pit ball activity uh, that they used to play, uh, you know, uh, in uh, in ground, uh, uh, indoor or playground areas. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to say pit bull, or I, did, I mean the dog, I mean I mean to say ball pits. Uh, you know what I mean. If not, let me show you an image. So yes, this thing. Remember this? This one. I actually tried it myself, it's really fun. So it actually reminds me of this and I think that kids will actually maybe associate this. And if you had intersection, like when you move with the device or maybe put a device, you know, and they touch the, um, the cubes, the cubes just move aside or something, you know, we just can maybe eat them and just push them. I think it would be really fun. So this is it, this is AR Classroom. Um, 
augmented reality game, educational augmented reality game for kids, uh, which you can download for free right now from the App Store. And again, there are many good things going for it. Although, you know, just a simple, look like a simple app. But as I showed you, there are things that are actually made really good here uh, in terms of their, uh, the design for augmented reality. And they actually um, uh, have some sort of uh, um, resemblance to some activities that kids like in general. So this is why I think that if you give this for kids, including understanding the advantages of this app that I mentioned uh, uh, a few minutes ago, uh, you're gonna find this app, uh, you know, uh, fun and useful uh, uh, for kids in order to uh, learn about numbers, shapes, and uh, letters. So this is it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I see you on the next video very soon. Bye, bye. -bye.